Now, these are players we're waiting by for a train. It's a Kartakis, Walter Masson, Sammy West, Ozzie Bluegy. There's a the star of this program. That's you, <laughs> right there in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I know it. <laughs> 87-year-old Buddy Lewis is watching pictures of a very young Buddy Lewis. 1936, the Gastonia native, a member of the Washington Senators, a major leaguer at 19 years old. I signed a contract with Chattanooga in, in um, mid-season uh, 1934, and I was in the major leagues at the end of the 35 season. At 21, he was the American League All-Star third baseman in 1938, but like others, his career was interrupted. That's me on the left, and I believe that might be my crew there. In World War II, he was a pilot flying from India to China over the Himalayas, very dangerous flying. He won the Distinguished Flying Cross, and with typical humor, talks about being shot at. Bullets, the tracer, tracer bullets, right off of my wing back there. To, and the crew chief came up and said, somebody's shooting firecrackers out of your body. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> it may have been something else. Well, that was Comiskey Park. After the war, he opened a car dealership, eventually becoming wealthy, but he was not was done like? with baseball. The 1947 All-Star team, he started alongside Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams in the outfield. For his career, he batted 297 with 1,500 hits. With those numbers today, he would make millions. I made 19,000 my last year. And 19,000, I could, I could have bought half of Gastonia. Al Evans from North Carolina, down to Kinston, North Carolina, is catcher. It's a lifetime of good memories, but at 87, some are bittersweet as he looks at the faces of young men who were his friends in baseball and in war. That was my co-pilot. He's dead. Now, this is my crew chief on the right and my radio operator on my left. And they're both gone now. They're both gone. He and his wife, Frankie, have been married over 50 years, three grown children. It's been a good life. And reflecting on it, he speaks, I think, for many in his generation. Out of all the things I've done in my life, I believe uh, the uh, service in the military is probably one of the highlights that I've uh, done. And I, I feel like I, I accomplished something. I love